Hello, my name is Zhong An Huang. This is a joint work with Jun Zhuo Lai, Shui Han, Lin Li, and Jian Wang. The topic is anonymous public key encryption under corruptions. Firstly, let me introduce some background information. For public key encryption under corruptions, both the secret keys and messages could be leaked. As far as we know, the first notion of anonymity for PKE under corruptions is proposed by Behemoda et al. in 2020. In their work, anonymous CLR secure and RSO secure PKE is employed to build an evolving committee proactive secret sharing scheme. Unfortunately, there are still some problems left. No known PKE achieves their anonymous CLR security. The adversary is not allowed to obtain any secret key before seeing cipher text, and each public key is used to encrypt a single message. Moreover, both confidentiality and anonymity under corruptions are needed for constructing an easy PSS scheme. But we notice that for ISO security, the adversary is able to open a specified subset of the chaining key cipher text. And for anonymous COR security, the adversary does not have this ability. So these two security notions are formalized under different types of corruptions. Focusing on these problems, we define anonymous ISO K and C security for PKE, which is anonymity under receiver selective opening attacks in the K training setting and adaptive user corruptions. And then we define a confidentiality notion under the same types of corruptions. Now we turn to the definition of anonymous RSO K and C security. In the real game, there are totally n public keys. The adversary specifies a public key distribution and KT challenge messages. In other words, the adversary knows all the encrypted messages but he does not know which public keys are used for encryption exactly. The adversary can make two kinds of oracle queries, user corruption queries and selective opening queries. For the user corruption queries, the adversary submits I and receives SKI. For the selective opening queries, the adversary queries on J and receives SKIJ, which means that he asks to open the J subtext. Finally, he returns output. The ideal game is similar, except that there are no public keys and no encryptions. So we use the indices of public keys to replace the public keys. Note that the simulator will not receive any ciphertext, so she does not have any information about the indices of the public keys corresponding to the unopened and uncorrupted users. This is how we formalize the notion of anonymous ISO K and C security. The confidentiality notion under the same type of corruption is similarly defined. The main difference is that the distribution of public keys is replaced with a distribution of messages, and all the other details are similarly modified. And then we show that anonymous ISO K and C CPA security implies anonymous COR security and the corresponding confidentiality implies the standard ISO K security. For constructions, we show a framework of constructing PKE achieving both anonymous ISO K and C CCA security and confidentiality under the same types of corruptions. Specifically, we propose a primitive called key and message non-committing encryption KMNCE and use it to show a PKE scheme achieving both of the two new security requirements. And then we use a new primitive called key openable hash proof system to construct KMNCE. The obtained MDDH based PKE scheme has compact cyber text and tight security reduction and is the first PKE scheme achieving anonymous COR security. Well, this is the brief introduction of our work. Thanks for your attention.